Sam, what are you doing? All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to do your M50 turbo build oil feed and oil return line. So I'll make it quick, short, straight to the point. I'm gonna link everything in the description that you need, all the part sizes, so you can just click everything and get them done. That way you're not sitting there forever. But yeah, let's get into it. So for the oil feed, basically all you're doing is you're tapping a sandwich plate or sandwich adapter where your Vanos oil feed line connects up to your Vanos. So then you're gonna tap it here, go over the top or wherever you want the lines and then just in there. So here's what it looks like. It's just the same thread that goes in there and then it turns it into a 4AN fitting and then it has the hole there. So you get oil to your turbo and you get oil to your Vanos, which I'm not gonna have Vanos cause it's just easier to tune turbo without it. But besides the point, let's put it in. Sam. So you're probably thinking, why are you threading that in without the hose? Well, it's to clean out the threads, that's why. Or I completely forgot, you can be the judge of that, so. So it should look something like this before you thread it in. The straight side goes on the Vano solenoid, and then the curved side goes down to the housing of the oil filter. And then you have your sandwich plate in like that. I gotta tighten them up, and then we'll get to the turbo side. All right, so just so you know, both those bolts, this one and that one, are a 19 millimeter. So make sure you have that tool. All right, next is the turbo side fitting. So this is what's gonna give you the oil to your turbo. I have a Borg Warner, so yours might be different, but I'm pretty sure all the Borg ones are exactly the same thread. So I'll link this one below. Cool thing about Borg, and I think whole sets do too, they have a restrictor that's actually in here, so you don't have to have an oil restrictor when you actually plumb it. There's a tiny little hole down there, and that's your restrictor, so you don't need one. Garrett's usually do, but um, just a fun fact. So again, this will be linked in the description below. Make your life a lot easier, because I had to look it all up. All right, and this fitting is a 14 millimeter wrench. You want a deep socket, you're not gonna get one on there, and a wrench, you're gonna have, you could do it, you totally could, but you're gonna end up hitting the housings and it's gonna be a mess. So deep 14 millimeter socket. I'm sorry again, guys, for being the typical YouTube guy that does his project in the dark. I got two more of these lights I got to put up, and it's they're eight feet. It's going to be nice, but um, so far, that's all I got. Sorry. So here's the actual 4AN oil line, which has two 90s on it. It's just the best way it fits, and you have plenty of room. You could probably get away with a shorter one, but the one that I link in the description you're not gonna have any problems with any turbo that you actually use. So uh, let's put it on and finish up this little project. So here's how I like to run it. Uh, I'll wedge it right behind this little breather tube that goes on the valve cover and straight shot over to the turbo. Also, if you're running a stock manifold, you can wedge it up through one of the runners if you need to have your turbo farther away. But usually this is pretty much where your turbo is gonna sit especially if you're doing this setup in an E36 or an E30 like myself. Right, but I'm not gonna put this on too tight because before you start the motor when it's in the car, you wanna make sure you get oil in here before your turbo starts spinning. They put a little bit in there just to help it, but you want an actual oil flow in there before you start running it. So pull your fuel pump relays and then crank it until oil comes out of here, then tighten it on and you're good to go. But now we're gonna get into the oil return of the turbo, which is pretty much the same thing. So as for my Borg and the manifold, this one's really hard because there's no spot to really fit a hard line in there. And if you do fit one in there, when you take this off, it's gonna be a nightmare. So I did just an AN line. So I took a straight 10 AN and then 10 AN hose, obviously. Weaved it through the manifold and then around this engine mount and then to a 90. So it's at the perfect, basically, angle where it will drain. I have enough slack so I can get it off without like wanting to die. So what I did for the actual return into the pan is I drilled a hole, put a dash 10 bulkhead fitting, JB welded all around it after I torqued it down, 
and it shouldn't leak and it'll be fine. Ideally, you want to weld these in. That's what I did on the M20. But either way, I'm sure people will be like, oh, it's going to leak, it's going to crack. But if it does, you'll see it in the video and I'll say that you're right. If it doesn't, I'm not going to say anything. So, but that's basically the return. It's not hard, not hard to do. Um, it's kind of fun making these AN lines. But yeah, that's how you run your turbo oil feed and oil return line to your turbo on your BMW M50 engine. This will be the same for M52, M54, all the, you know, similar engines. Um, please subscribe. It helps a lot motivate me to make more videos. Um, I'm going to be doing basically every step you need to fit an M50 turbo in an E30. And I'll be posting those videos. Please comment below on ones that you really are interested in. So I'll do those first and I'll be more, you know, inclined to take my time and show you guys what I know you actually want to see. Um, I'll get into what size turbo and why I picked it, motor mounts, uh, what manifold, because certain manifolds only fit in the E30 with M50 turbo. There's a bunch of stuff. But um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video helped you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.